Welcome to the Red Caboose restaurant. Come this way and we'll get your order. Welcome to the Red Caboose restaurant. Come this way and we'll get your on to a P70 coach, which we did. A splendor Victorian style with a red velvet painting. We'll show you what it looks like inside. All aboard, right this way. All aboard, right this way. Okay, then. You can just go right on in there. She's going to... We're now looking at the Red Caboose Motel. There's 30 units of Pensy N5 cabooses refurbished into sleeping units. Each caboose sleeps up to six people and uh, it's best to call at least three or four weeks in advance to get a caboose to sleep in with your children. And let's go and look inside one. We'll show you what they look like inside. Back at this point, you'll go front and we'll talk about the TV. So what's... The television is in the pot belly stove and it's the only motel that you can watch gun smoke in the stove. Of course, we've got the, the lamp over, t the pipe over to make a lamp and you want to write out your postcards at night these desks were handmade by Amish carpenters because you couldn't get any motel furniture to fit in a caboose that would be a desk, a uh, vanity, and a uh, settee all in one piece. It was on one side and the shower is on the other side and they have all the comforts of home. Four bunks at the back allows for the children to sleep at the back and the parents up front and uh, they, each one sleeps up to six people all together. Well, the guarantees you're going to wake up on the right track. We have a Ma and Pa, Maryland, Pennsylvania, uh, 1898 version of a gaboose. And we left this as it was with the horse hair blanket or mattresses and the old uh, stove and the coal bin and the way bill sorting was done here at this desk and uh, this is as they are in the rough. The collection that we have in the Age of Steam Museum is a collection of railroad Indiana and uh, things that made railroad great and was used every day. It looks like a bunch of junk but the keystone you see uh, in the middle there was on a Union Pacific Big Boy, and they'll go anywhere from six to eight hundred dollars if you can find one. This is one of the largest. This is one of the largest collections of lanterns and whistles to be uh, owned and seen in one place, from six inches up to six foot at the other end. The large whistles at the other ends weren't on steam engines; they were on. Uh, train or uh, paddle boats that went down the Mississippi. The SS New Orleans, SS Burnham and some of the large paddle boats. These are headlights that went into many a blizzard and thunderstorm and the head end of an engine. The oldest one being the old uh, towel light that was on the coal burner. we have the only one that you can sleep up in the cupola and you has bunks up there and you can put four people here and then there's a master bedroom at the back here for mom and dad and then out in the main sitting room there's the 
emergency unit that has a stove and a refrigerator and uh, all the uh, comforts of home. You can stay here for a week and do some cooking inside. The only difference being that the TV isn't in a stove. This is our gift shop and our train yard. There's not too many places you can go and a gift shop and have train sets from $39 a set to $39,000 a set over on the wall. shop is a 40-foot box car that we converted into a train shop and we have trains representing uh, pre-war on up to the present day and uh, we sell an awful lot of trains out of here in a year's time. I'm going to bite the bullet and I'm going to keep you <laughs> Station agent here, Red Schneid, and he's my right hand man there at the Red Caboose. The guy will meet you. And uh, he was 30 years in the Navy, and I took him when he came out of the Navy off the ship and put him on a train. Wouldn't have it any other way. Out of order, just couldn't stay out of uniform. 